Hi. Okay, so when you are using the Microsoft project to create a timeline for the project, and after you finish creation, you have to deliver the project timeline for the client to review and approval. And actually, you don't want to deliver the MPP file to the client. Uh, so you just want to export this one to a PDF file for for them to do the review. So it will be quicker. And in this video today, I will guide you how to do the setting and export the project timeline to a PDF file. So it will look, it will look be better. Okay, so now I will go ahead to create a template by using the Microsoft Project here. I have the software development plan here. I will click on this one to create a template. Click on the create button here. Okay, cool. And you can see here we have some the tab in this project timeline. And we have some duration, start date, and finish date. Okay. And now I will expand this one. And I select this and click on the view tab. Under the outline here, I will select the own subtask. After that, it will display all of the subtask in the project timeline here. Okay. So now you want to click on the file and we have a export feature here click on export it it is support you to export this file into a pdf format i will select this one by default for now and i click on ok button ok i will open this one and take a look Okay, here you can see we have a lot of pieces have been exported to the PDF file. We have 32, uh, 32 pages. It is long, very long. And you can see here we have some the start name, duration, start finish, resources, and a lot of things here. Okay. So now if I, I want to modify this one to make it look better and I will reduce the basis of the zip file and how to do it okay so I will close this one first and back to the Microsoft project and you can see here the row is very high okay so I will change it to another view I will select the top seat Okay, so after I select the task sheet view here, it will display all of the tab on on this page. It look much better now. Okay, so now I will adjust some the size of the column here to make it look better. Okay. double click to make it fit resources expand this
OK. Ok, and the next one, I think we should change the phone and the phone size here to make it look good. I will select it into 10 or 11. Ok, 11 look fine. Cool. And now I will click on the file and I click on the print, print here feature. So before we, uh, before we export this one to PDF file, so we should click on the print button to take a, an overview. And what it will be, uh, uh, and, and, and see the style sheet after you export it to the PDF file and what it, what they look good. Okay, so now here you can see we have a lot of basic here and it seems the layout is display is not good for now. It divides the column into two pages here. So now I I, I, I actually I, I want to own up the column here displaying on a a, a bed in this of displaying on the two pet or something like that. Okay, so now I will review it a little bit. Try again. Print review. Okay, steam same thing here. Okay, so you can see here for for this one, you can see we have a setting feature. So we have some another option E. So, because the timeline it look very long here, so we should change it to the landscape mode. Landscape, okay. And the pet set up here, we should change it to the format of the A3. Yeah. So now you can see here it's displaying all of the column in one pet. It Oh, we have a resource name. Okay. Resource. Smaller. Yes, it seems look good for now. And I will click on the pet setup here and see what we have. Okay, we have the orange orientation here for now is landscape and click on margin button here leave it by default and header yeah so for now you can see the header it is playing the name of the of the file here on the top I don't want to it display there so I will delete delete it the footer and the footer it will display the bed number on at the center of the bed. Okay, keep it. Reason view. Okay, button. Yeah. So now you use the the, the 
page header has been removed. Okay, click on back setup again, and the page option. Okay, cool. Border. Okay, border. We should select none. Yes. And now we have some space here, so we can we can adjust this one a little bit higher. Still good. Okay. So now everything this one is good for now. You can export it to the PDF file. Okay, open this again. Yeah. So you can see here after we do some the modification and the setting for the output and after you export the timeline to a PDF file here, it looks very good. And you are go you are able to go ahead to deliver this file PDF to the client for a review and get approval. And I think it will be much better when you are de you are deliver the MPP file or another another format of of the timeline file to the client. Okay, hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later in another video.